August 1st, which means we are right in the thick, really. Uh, up it up. Hurricane season. Yeah. yeah, started back in June. We'll go through right. the month of November. <sighs> But today is, is really the beginning of the more active time of the year, Courtney, you know, especially as we get into the latter part of August into September, September 10th, the peak. Well, and, and last year, September 10th, <laughs> I mean, Irma. on cue, Irma coming in right around that time. But here's the good news. Is everything is calm out in the tropics right now, but I do want to talk about something that we're tracking, and I'm going to explain this first, then we'll talk about what we're seeing now. But warm water in the Gulf, we know this, warmer water in the Caribbean. Ocean currents actually drive some of that warmer water in the Caribbean up into the Gulf of Mexico. And actually, as it moves into the southern Gulf, Courtney, it's called the loop current. Well, and that was the question I had. You know, if it moves into the, you know, cooler water right, of the Gulf, right. then okay, that, that would weaken a tropical system, right? Theoretically, so, yeah. Right. But I mean, it's still relatively warm in the Gulf, okay. so you're still going to get strengthening. But the currents itself, pulling up that warmer water from the, the Caribbean, creates this bulge of warmer water coming right. up into the Gulf of Mexico. Now, as this continues to evolve, this loop current starts to create that loop and ultimately it will cut off from that main current. Now, if you notice that actually that current continues up as into the Gulf Stream, creating this loop eddy. We talked about this at five o'clock, but I want to expand on it a little bit more. This kind of like a eddy, lava lamp. Where it, exactly. Perfect, perfect explanation. So it creates this bulb of very warm and deep warm water in the Gulf of Mexico and it provides extra fuel for tropical systems if they were to move over these loop eddies. Now these loop eddies tend to drift to the west and that cycle will repeat itself as we go through every about five or six months. So then you get them floating out in the Gulf. You got that right and that's exactly where I'm going. So back in June, the loop current broke off into one of those loop eddies and we have one of those loop eddies just sitting in the eastern Gulf of Mexico. The loop eddy that broke off in February has now drifted off the coast of Texas. So the concern is as we go into one of the more active times of the year, if a system were to develop in the Gulf of Mexico, which we're not expecting anytime soon, but that Still. could pose extra energy for the potential of rapid intensification. Comes up, hits this, and then it could explode. It explodes. Katrina, Harvey last year, that's a concern, yeah. I'm Real. glad that we have you to watch all we're, of this and let us know about it. Yep. Yep.